Hey guys, it's Beta. Today I'm reviewing for you a replacement lock screen for your phone and a weather application that plugs into it. Let's check it out. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal by Samantha. It's referencing XDA senior member Aston Chia. Aston Chia, and I'm sure I'm butchering the name. Uh, and it's referencing three of his applications that he's released and trying to support through XDA as well as having them available on the Google Play Store. If we open up the thread, the applications themselves are C Lock Screen, C Shaker, and then C Widget. Uh, C, -lock, uh, C Lock Screen and the C Widget kind of work together. Essentially, it's a widget, a weather widget for that customizes the C Lock Screen, which is a replacement for your lock screen. And C Shaker, as you can see in some of the descriptions here, it's enabling to do certain functions on your phone, turn on Wi Fi, Bluetooth, or screen rotation by shaking your phone. So it's using the gyroscope on your phone to be able to enable certain activities. And uh, the, the applications are currently available here, or, and I'll go through in the applications on the Google Play Store, uh, current to-do list or future uh, work, the C-Lock screen, as you can notice, he's still working on a lot of things you want to add to it, and as well as the uh, the future to-do as far as the, the C-Off screen, the ability to turn off the screen with a widget. If we open up the uh, C-Lock screen on the Google Play Store, again, the application is a screen, a screen lock replacement. So if you have a, a currently any ROM that has a lock screen that you use, you would need to disable it before you're able to use this one. It's uh, well received. It has some recommendations as far as what it needs uh, to improve. Uh, the main thing you want to keep in mind is that the application does require Android 4.0 and up. Uh, it's available and it was recently updated as of the 18th. C Shaker is also uh, available and was recently uh, updated as of the 20th. And again, uh, more features are being added and you can see some of the screenshots in here. C Widget, uh, the weather widget option also was updated as of the 18th. Uh, now this one doesn't require Android 4.0 or higher, it goes 2.3.3, uh, but uh, overall it works very nicely with the C Locker. Let's check them out on the phone. We'll go ahead and an open application on the phone and we'll go ahead and open C-Lock. It tells you the first thing is you need to do is um, uninstall or disable at least, not uninstall your original lock screen. And you can do that generally by going into settings, uh, lock screen, and I chose none. So therefore it doesn't recognize the uh, TouchWiz lock screen and it automatically uses the C-Lock. The other option that gives you is what you'd like to display, the default wallpaper, you want to show missed call, missed uh, messages, uh, as well as uh, show and hide, you know, uh, square uh, blinking indicators and so on. Uh, the clock gives you the ability of choosing an AM, PM and the type, uh, the style. App shortcuts, and that's one of the nice things that it adds into it. Uh, TouchWiz does by default have the ability of give you, uh, I think it was five shortcuts, one of them being Google Now. Uh, this is obviously much more customizable and you're able to change certain things in there and as well as uh, being able to add things to it. Uh, and the other thing is the ability to adding uh, lock screen weather. And this is the C, the C weather application that you need to download separately. Um, and for me, I went ahead and already enabled it. Um, and then see, see weather. Weather item displays, it goes through, it gives you the ability to choosing what you want to display, the colors, the shortcut tabs. Again, uh, very nicely customizable and you're able to go into the application itself. You're able to add this as a widget to your desktop by itself, or you can add it as part of uh, the C-Log application. C-Shaker is a, it's just an application based on turning on certain functions by shaking your phone, so they're definitely a great application there. I'll go ahead and lock the phone and open up. The screen lock itself, you can see the weather, the, 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 the the temperature set in the wrong uh, degrees, I guess I should change it to Fahrenheit for me. Uh, the time of day, the date, uh, the ability to you know select what you want to change, and it also gives you the ability of seeing your battery. You have the option of disabling the notification bar, so you don't have to have this redundant information here. But other than that, it looks very nice. You're able to unlock directly, go to camera, torch, YouTube. Uh, the one thing I find very interesting is with the torch application is you can, if you select to go to torch, it turns on the torch, uh, which essentially is your back camera. And then you go back again to disable it. It doesn't unlock the phone to do so. Um, and then you can go to your mail application, your SMS or your phone. Um, and then you could of course just lock your, unlock your phone and it just does the same thing. It works very nicely. It replaces your uh, default lock screen. So you need to keep that, keep that in mind. It is a replacement to your lock screen. The integration with the, the additional applications that he's putting out and the updates that he's putting are definitely very well welcomed um, on the Google Play Store as well as in the XDA forums. So please check it out and let me know what you think. The application works nicely on the phone. I Sometimes when I'm turning on the phone, I notice that there's a little bit of a lag where the lock screen doesn't actually turn on, but I'm sure it's something that the developer is working on and make sure that the application doesn't actually show the, do that in the future. The ability to see your battery percentage at the bottom of the screen and hiding your notification bar is very nice. 
it's uh, the aesthetics of it are very nice and cooling. You're able to change your lock screen, uh, the background, the customization options are immense. Uh, you're able to change many, many things as well as add the C weather widget application that you're able to add weather uh, functionality to your uh, to your lock screen. Now, I normally use the uh, the TouchWiz lock screen that comes standard on the on the TouchWiz. Uh, obviously, since this is a Galaxy Note 2. Uh, overall, I think it mimics a lot of the same functionality, but with one of the reasons why I like this application slightly more is you have more options of applications that you're able to add. The options to turn on uh, triggering like the, the flashlight on and off from the lock screen without having to unlock the phone is a very nice feature. Um, and it looks like the developer is definitely working on adding more features in the near future. So please check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, definitely uh, let the developer know what you think if there's any other additional features. He is looking for some people to help him with translating some of the options uh, on, the, on the applications to other languages. So if you're interested, uh, look at the link in, uh, down below and help the developer. Hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and please share this video to as many people as you can. Uh, again, I'm trying to bump up my uh, my my activities on my main channel so that I uh, I guess so I can get more followers. So uh, hint hint, I'm trying to get more followers. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys next week.